I am John Melton Brady. A mountain a stone cold mountain, some carpet and My artist's name, I'm such a graphic artist. Builder of Jesus' house here, want to tear down this great wall that has just me and my imagery here. Me and those chains and I. Growing a new pair, gotta grow a whole new body. Build Jesus' house here. Medical research being passed by. But I've always thought it was bad taste. Placing someone named Barack Hussein Obama. Someone named Hussein. In the highest office in the land. Just a few years after 9-11. I always thought it was bad taste. You know what part of the world that comes from? You know Barack Hussein Obama grew up in Africa. Just a short distance from the Middle East. Call me up to tell me what you believe. Doesn't have to be what you hear in church, guys. What you personally believe. Call me up, 424-229-414, try to. Do ask what I mean by Jesus' house here. Call it an opportunity house, not in the keys. I'll tell you all about it. You gotta be able to reach me by phone, though. And that gets me to what got someone named Hussein in the highest office in the land. Just a few years after 9 11, it's the, the Mideast being placed into the United States of America. First uh, off, yeah, you hijack the mail, you uh, hijack the phone system. They don't like folks talking to each other over there, they oppress their own people that way. Been asking for World Trade Center Flight 93 checks, and yeah, mail as well. Certified mail, non certified mail, none of it. No calls. No World Trade Center Flight 93 check calls in the over eight years I've been asking for. Uh, yeah. During that administration placed. Since that's bad taste, so soon after 9-11. That's the first step uh, of doing that. Uh, and first you censor the phones, the mail, you censor the news. That's a lot of men and censorship conducting in America without fear of being covered by the event. Yeah, business censorship as well. The next step, you place someone named Hussein in the highest office in the land, not even, didn't even grow up in America. And yeah, that's what we're up to. Oh, you want to certify your mail to me? I'll do it quickly. I hope to move quickly. I'm living on Skid Row, homeless because of religious censorship. But the next thing you do. As you get rid of those, oh, you see the way the women parade around in America? Like they're equal or something. Let's take away that right to vote for the women. Oh, they're already doing that. Go to vote-truth, that website right there, that blogspot.com. Oh, you can include the men as well. They don't like anybody having the right to uh, speak in the government over there. That's what they're placing in America here. You go to vote-truth, www.vote-truth.blogspot.com and you, if you can't reach voter registration links there, yeah, they're placing another king in the highest office in the land this November. Vote with the voice of the people. Check in post in just five minutes. All soldiers, you protect America, see that military basis phone as every child in America's life on it. To the firemen, the police, paramedic, make a video of it being hijacked. Call me up in front of mayors, governors, reporters, News anchors, anyone in the public eye get their, them on video, their response to you literally calling me in front of them as you make a phone video of that phone not being allowed to work, being hijacked in America. One citizen not being able to talk to another. And you post that video to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, a hundred more sites, and numbers too high to hijack. Come see me in person, tear down this wall, put someone besides me. And my change of eyes in this imagery here. Let's get started building. Like these eyes are rebuilding. Let's rebuild after Barack Hussein Obama.